Hello and welcome, I'm JD and today we're going to talk about programming channels. A new mechanic that will limit how many missiles can be fired in a single instance that will come with the modular missile update. Each hull will now have a set number of programming channels organic to it, which when you go to queue up a missile volley, will then search for all the vertical launch systems that currently have that missile type, and then launch to the maximum amount of programming channels that you have. The playing in the background is the video that demonstrates this from the developers posted on the official Discord. It shows a heavy cruiser with a vertical launch system size 2. And so you can see when the missiles are queued up, that there's a short delay whilst the VLS-2 launcher programs the missiles. And you can see where it says PROG-6, which is how many channels that ship currently has available to it. Then they all fire almost simultaneously in a dense wave. So this is important for a few reasons. One, you'll no longer have a steady stream of missiles that point defense will be able to continually destroy. So you won't be able to just chicken feed missiles into the enemy's point defense network. Two, vertical launch systems will also not have a compounding cost anymore. So you'll be able to have a missile ship, but it'll be restricted to how many programming channels available to it. So whilst you may be able to carry hundreds of cheap missiles, you won't be able to fire hundreds of missiles at once like you currently can. And three, each of the missiles will take a different amount of time to program so the larger missiles will take longer whereas the smaller missiles like the size one or the size twos will be a lot faster than say the size three hybrids so this should make it now that missiles are used with a bit more care and a bit more foresight instead of simply finding a target and unleashing wave after wave of missile until eventually you overwhelm enemy point defense and you might be wondering is the age of missiles dead well no you'll still be able to modify how many program channels you have so the developers have confirmed that there'll be two supporting modules, and this is part of the reasons why the vertical launch system no longer has the compounding cost. You'll be able to add additional programming channels, and you'll be able to buff and modify the speed at which they calculate how long it takes for them to launch. But like always, we don't know what points are available for each of these costs. We don't know how much power they will draw, and we certainly don't know how long that final time to launch for each of the missiles will be, as the playtesters are still testing that, so we're not 100% sure, and all those numbers may change. All right, well, that's it for this one. If you have any thoughts or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, take care and have a good day.